Uh, I want to talk about uh, the next question is, can medications cause artificial nails to lose adhesion and lift? Well, this is an interesting question. I get an awful lot. If the medication we're talking about is short-term medication, antibiotics or over-the-counter medication, it's very unlikely that they're going to cause lifting. And the reason is, is because the nail coating is applied to nail that's already grown out maybe weeks, months ago. So taking an antibiotic now isn't going to affect that nail plate that's already grown out. It can affect new growth, but it's unlikely, it's, we're, it's unlikely to happen with we're talking about over-the-counter medication or short-term medications. There are medications, of course, that we know that can affect the natural nail, but they don't affect adhesion. They generally affect nail growth itself. Chemotherapy, for instance. Chemotherapy can affect the way the nail grows, to where it suddenly will slow down growth and then maybe speed up again later to create a divot that runs across the width of the nail plate called a Bose line. Bose lines are generally indication that something is going on wrong in the body. So the body slows down and isn't producing as much nail. It's focusing on healing the body. So if you get a really serious injury, uh, or you're in a bad car accident, you require surgery, <clears throat> that can affect the way your nail grows as well. Many people associate lifting with uh, problems like uh, anesthesia, but it's unlikely the anesthesia is a problem. It's more likely the health effects inside the body are the problems. Uh, if when the body, the nail is a window into our health. So when our body is ailing or not feeling well, we can expect our nails can begin to behave strangely simply because the body is that functioning properly. We shouldn't jump to blame medications right away. It's generally not going to be the medication. It's generally going to be the health condition of the person that's causing the problems with their nail. Well, so in other words, the last thing you should suspect is the medication. The first thing you should suspect is what we've talked about before, which be improper preparation, uh, other issues that are caused uh, that uh, could lead to the problem. And then once you've ruled out all the other issues, then the last thing you want to suspect is, is the medication itself because it's rarely going to be that the problem. Now, there are, again, medical conditions where we, we recognize that uh, 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 vitamins, for instance, the vitamin deficiency can cause uh, scurvy. A uh, vitamin deficiency of vitamin C can cause scurvy, and scurvy can affect the nails. But medical deficiencies of vitamins are actually pretty rare. Uh, most people get their uh, sufficient amount of vitamins from the foods they eat. If you're not eating healthy and it starts affecting your nails, Eating nail vitamins are not going to help your nails if you're not eating healthy. It's better to eat healthy and don't try to rely on nail vitamins or vitamins that accelerate nail growth or supplements. They're, they're not very effective and I've not seen them uh, talk to anybody who they've actually had great results with. I've not seen the evidence to show that there's great results with these things. You're going to get far better results with a nail oil. If your nails are brittle or breaking, using a high quality nail oil can give them durability and let allow them to grow longer. So save your money when it comes to nail vitamins and invest in a good nail oil and use it often and you'll probably have much better results.